All right, guys, I'm gonna to try to go over all of the ideas that I put out in chat today and give you the reasons, use the charts to explain my thinking. And uh, so this might be a little lengthy and some of you may find this very educational and others of you uh, may be clicking, uh, clicking the stop button any second here, but um, I'll try to be brief on each one. DEC, um, D-E-C-K, and the market's still open, so you may see some prices changing. Um, cut out a little early because I figured the last hour was going to be dead and had a pretty good day. So this is what deck looked like before today's candle. Um, and as I said last night in the video, we just had it on watch. I didn't know if it was going to give a setup or not. Let's go to the five minute candles now. Um, you know, yesterday we got a nice trade on, uh, on deck near the lows of the day. We took it right about here and got a real nice bounce, got 90 something cents on it. Well, I didn't do that again today. I wish I would have, this would have been a great entry right around here, but, um, sold off and bounced, took out the high of the day, and then uh, came and put in a higher low this time. And so this little base right here, I went ahead and called it on a base break, right over this base. And the stop is always gonna go. Whenever I have a base break, remember this uh, overdue for a bounce anyway. So it takes out the early high. Look at yesterday when it took out the early high, it just grinded lower all day. So today it was acting a little bit different, took out the early high, pulled back, got a bounce above the open again, and then put in this base. So this becomes the entry it was in other words it was acting better today than yesterday um, this becomes the entry and this becomes the stop so um, this doesn't look like much but uh, we still got a dollar a share on some of them um, I sold some quickly at the whole number for like 25 cents right um, I sold some up here on this spike and we always teach our members to sell into spikes when you get it I was being patient said this could end up being a good one and I was being patient, and then when I get a spike, I like to sell. So sold the second third here, and uh, I will be out my final third before the close, okay? Um, I've had a break-even stop ever since I took my first third off the table. So it's been a pretty good trade, um, and that was the reason for the thinking in deck. Coach, again, we had this on Bounce Watch. I think I mentioned last night that I would. Um, if I take today's candle out of it, all these days down in a row, this horizontal line represents some support from back here. These are daily candles, so it goes on bounce watch. Then today, it sells off right at the open, okay? Now, when it's down this many days, I view this as late shorters, trying to, you know, thinking coach is going to zero by the weekend, and also um, longs capitulating, giving up, okay? So I switched to 10-minute candles. I wanted to take some of the whippiness out of it that you get with fives and said this could work on tens. I like, actually, I said I like it on tens, which means here's the opening candle, Here's uh, the next candle down. The first break of a previous 10 minute candles high. In this case, 53.48, right? Didn't mean to do that. 53.48, right at the top of this green one and a low of day stop, which gave us um, 39 cents a share risk. And it ended up going without stopping out. It ended up going to um, 55.20, all right? I did not get this one. I was doing something else, but my tens idea uh, worked out great. And we had members take it because they told me they did. Um, but I didn't profit from it, but it was still an idea put out in chat today, FTNT. Um, in pre-market, I mentioned that FTNT was gapping down around 24 before the market opened, and that 24 had some support, um, and it ended up going down below here and then coming back up near the high of the day. And over this base, just like I did on uh, another trade today, um, I called it over this base with a stop below this base. So the entry, um, my idea, I think I worded it, uh, FTNT putting in a base below the high of the day, base break could work. That's that's basically how we uh, call these trades, um, which would have been 2446. And we had members take this too, and then it gets through the high of the day. And that uh, doesn't look like much, but um, pretty quickly from 2446, pretty quickly to 25. And it ended up going to 2515. So not too bad there. Um, pay, P A Y. This one breaking below 30. Um, I was thinking short, okay? 30 has been a long time support for this, and then this morning, pay uh, just tanked. So I didn't even notice it till it looked like this. So I said, let's watch the bounce up into that eight period moving average. Um, and I said, this is an area where we might be able to short. And again, like before, I switched to 10 minute candles. 10s clean it up for me. They take some of the, the whippiness, choppiness that you get with fives, okay? Um, and said, as a reverse tens, in other words, first break of a previous 10 minute candles low, 28.12. And the stop would go above this candle's high, 28.51. Um, and it pretty quickly, never did take out the low of the day, but from 28.12, it did get down to like 
So a decent little trade there. Went sideways the rest of the day. Um, Abercrombie and Fitch, ANF. This is kind of amusing. Um, the early high here, these are five minute candles, 34.52. It hit it again here. And so when it looked like this, I typed out uh, ANF, basing below the high of the day, called it long if it broke the high of the day, 34.53, 34.35 stop. And I think it looked like this actually. And then when it did this, at this moment, and I don't have a superimposed spy chart, but the spy put in kind of an ugly five minute candle to the downside. And I didn't want to risk anybody's money if the spy was going to sell off, so I just canceled it. Which, to some of our members, whenever I call an idea and I cancel it, um, they pay more attention. They call it a MOPI trade, which is M-O-P-I, which stands for Mike's Out, Pile In. And you can see what happens here. It triggers, and uh, <laughs> pretty quickly, um, a big, big move. It ended up giving it back, but that doesn't matter because we teach, uh, if you take an entry and you get a move in your favor, you're a seller, not a buyer, and you don't let it reverse on you. Um, so that was a nice idea as well. Oh, one other thing I wanted to show you on Coach. Um, for those that didn't take the tens entry that I talked about a minute ago, one of our members, Alfred, and this is my favorite thing about the chat room, um, Alfred typed in Coach Volume, which is what we teach. Type in the symbol and the letters VOL for volume. Look at the volume here. I mean, it's all just boring, and then all of a sudden you get this double volume spike in five minutes. So anyone that, uh, we already had Coach on our radar, anyone that didn't take it down here, okay, you know you still haven't broken the high of the day, which is the catalyst on a bounce play. Once you start lighting up the new high sticker, typically you get shorts to cover, longs pile in. Um, so Alfred's alert here got some of our members in on this green five minute candle, okay, because we already had it on watch. We already knew what the daily chart looked like. Some members jumped in on Alfred's post. And if you never took any of the other entries, look what happens. That was the low of the day. And it just uh, was off to the races ever since. If you do take something that we're watching like that on a volume spike, it's not dangerous. It's not ar arbitrary. You just take it and your stop, as we teach, is always going to go below that five-minute um, volume candle. Okay, so if you took it at the very top here, 53.72, your stop is going to go at 53.48, which means it's going to have to do this volume spike, put in a green candle, and then reverse for you to be wrong. Of course, that can happen, but anyway, that's how we play those. Um, real quick, too, I wanted to share this. I didn't make a call on pennies, JC pennies, but it was also on Bounce Watch and like some of the others sold off right at the open today and it was getting that great shape but because nothing was bouncing yesterday i was a little hesitant to try to bottom feed it's one of my favorite things is intraday bottom feeding but i was a little hesitant today and i didn't do it um but i want to share something with you this isn't something i called in chat but when this gets up into the zone between the eight and the 20 on fives the eight period moving average 20 period moving average five minute candles when this gets up in this zone this typically on a weak stock would be the sell zone or a place to look for a short, okay? Um, now, I showed everybody this in chat, but then I said, but JCPenney's is down so big so many days in a row, I don't feel right trying to short it. Um, now, the lesson here, as sellers came in on five-minute candles right here, you never did get a break of a previous five-minute candles low. So you kind of have sellers coming in. If these sellers fail, unfortunately, guys, I didn't... I didn't um, kind of go through this thinking process in real time today, but it's still a great chart lesson. If these sellers that come in in the sell zone fail, now we know we're already way oversold on JCPenney's, you might have a good long as this red candle gets taken out to the upside. I would love to tell you, and there's the trigger right there, and your stop will go below that red candle, and look at that, it goes all the way through the high of the day. I would love to tell you that, uh, you know, I did this in real time, but it, it's a good trading lesson even though I didn't spot it. Um, or didn't think through it like that. I ended up with no trade at all in JCPenney's, but there's a pretty good way to look at a stock that where you know sellers are coming in, and if it doesn't roll over, if these sellers fail, we call that a failed fade. Uh, people are trying to fade this bounce if they fail. Um, some people call it an RBI or red bar ignored. If these sellers fail, you want to go long, especially in an area like that. So anyway, it's a great, great... Uh, a setup there that I just missed, but still a pretty good uh, chart lesson, I think. Anyway, I'll let you go. Oh, I think that was every, um, I forgot one, BKS. I think that was every chart that I, or every call that I made. BKS um, on the daily made a big day and a half move here. I'll show you on 15s. So a big move here, and then I didn't even have it on watch, but I noticed a volume spike in it right there. Um, so I thought, hey, if this one does break the high of the day, it might get going. Um, I called it over this candle, 1269, 1251. Look what happens. 
1269 it hits bases for a little bit and then goes up uh, higher ironically um, I can't really brag too much because I took this and then I, I killed it for a dime you know right after I took it and it didn't go um, I didn't let the stop work and my reasoning was after I took it I realized I took a lunchtime trade and I don't those have a, a propensity to fail so did take a dime loss there but the stop held and it did give a decent trade for most of the members who were smarter than me which is most of the members all right I'm gonna quit babbling now we'll see you guys tomorrow